This program is intended for a mature audience. If you are not 18 years old, stop listening and find more age-appropriate content. If you are offended by any content herein, that is your own problem as you have been warned. Do not try this at home. Release the Kraken! Because I am ready, and I will not let this opportunity slip through my fingers. Cup of coffee, man, yeah. Man! Wow, man! Get on with it. Yes! Get on with it! Get on with it! Oh, I am enjoying this. Get on with it! Um, <clears throat> lick the ladder later. Lick the ladder later. Lick the ladder later. Henry, God damn it! Introduce the show. Oh yes, sorry about that. I was just doing my vocal pre- precursors. Welcome to Shots from the. No, you gave me the wrong one, Gary. Yes, God damn it, Henry. I'm sorry here. Ah, yes. Welcome to Bad Habits Network. I am your announcer, Henry Strater. With us today is Dalton J. Pfeiffer, comedian. Hi. As well as Gary the Hammer. God, Henry, they know who I am. I know, but they don't know, and we may not know that they don't know that you know. Did anyone realize that Henry could actually make sense? I mean, I was kind of spacing out right there. Yeah, you, normally people just space out. Yeah, Gary, may I please do this? Oh, yeah, sorry, Henry, go ahead. <laughs> yes, welcome to the show. This is brought to you in part by Ideal Vapor LLC, a great facility in two great locations. One in Ideal Vapor Portage, Wisconsin, and the other is Ideal Vapor Berlin, Wisconsin. Fuck the police. Fuck what you heard, and fuck what the FDA does. Great staff, knowledgeable people, and they are working in this time of need during the COVID-19 epidemic quarantine. Yes, thank you. Mrs. Hammer does not like me. I don't know why. I'm a great person. I donate to charities such as CASA, as well as Safada, and other things such as the Cigar Rights for Americans. I am a good person who does horrible things. Apparently. Henry, Henry, you are just a beautiful soul. I don't know why nobody likes you. You're my favorite goddamn person. I am I am so happy to be sharing quarantine with you. I am as well with you. Stay out of my RV. All right. I understand. Moving we on. Have, we haven't reached that re- level of our friendship yet. Moving on. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> this episode is also brought to you in part by peregrinusvapors.com. Great place. Great facility. Another great human being, Navy veteran Ken Andrews, has everything you need for your wholesale ideals. Vape and vape accessories included. And he may or may not be able to help you with your green plus section in your shops and or dispensaries. You just have to know the right people. Yes. Like Ken Andrews. Yes. Navy veteran looks like a Rico agent. (laughs) And now on with the show, I present to you Gary the Hammer. Oh, God. Thank you, Henry. Finally. (laughs) <laughs> Dalton, how in the hell are you? Oh, man. Uh, days are blending together more and more every fucking day. There's days? I just have periods of sleep. Dude, it's like <laughs> I, I I, am getting the, the measurement of time through Con- Animal confused. Crossing right uh, now. Yes. Yes, I actually hit you up about that today. <laughs> yeah, you hit me up about Animal Crossing. What the early. fuck is that game? Fucking, you can I, hang out with people as sprites? Who the thought? No, no. <laughs> yeah, you make your, your own adorable little avatar that's like a little kid, but like I gave mine a beard, so it just looks like a tiny midget version of me. Uh, the Japanese would call that Chibi. Oh. Uh, C-H-I-B-I, Chibi Dalton. I like that. Yeah. I like that. One of my favorite video the games. Chibi Rachar is hard. <laughs> I love the look of his character. It's just like, dude, the crayons are over there. Try not to eat all of the red ones at first. We're only like two minutes into the show, and I'm already about to tell Richard not to listen to this one just because of how much of a nerd boner he's going to get. Like, don't ever tell him the words Chibi Richarizard because you will never hear the end of his fucking blushing. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, just last week. I mean, it was it was kind of cheating because Richard came over to uh, came over and hung out while I was hanging out at Mandy's house, and uh, we just started playing Animal Crossing together on our Nintendo Switches. And you know, we were just hung, hanging out, making a having a grand old time, and uh, 
fucking what was it? We were just exploring each other's islands. Fucking <laughs> this... all right. Okay. Moving on. Moving on because this on. is starting to sound like one of those weird homoerotic fucking no, long hair like... riding a horse fucking thing. It was like romance novel is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Bromance novel. <laughs> like this was like the old, the best time for fucking Animal Crossing to come out because it's just it was like the this best happy... of times for Animal Crossing. It was the worst of times for Animal Crossing. I could not <laughs> let that sit. <laughs> I mean, the people of Animal Crossing, they're totally in on the fucking joke, though. What's the joke? That's the question. Well, like they're putting in these little tiny references to, hey, guys, remember where you are right now? Like, uh, <laughs> what? During, during the first week, there's, there's an in-game store in Animal Crossing. And during the first week, literally at the day it came out, you get these daily items in the store, just things that you can buy. And one of the items was a disposable mask. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, and it was just like, you know, <laughs> they like seen you it cute, coming. You get a cute T-shirt with like a, a, a bunny's ears on it. Mm-hmm. You get like all this cute shit. And then there's just a disposable mask like, hey, motherfucker, remember. Don't go outside. <laughs> and then uh, I was playing it today. And oh, like, it's like me at home in Wuhan. <laughs> that was probably the most racist Jesus thing I'll ever Christ. do on air. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, then today, like, I just thought that it was, you know, like a little thing like, oh, yeah, here's a cute little accessory. Pretend you're a doctor. <laughs> but, uh, throughout the game, you'll get these characters coming up to you and like you'll learn how to make uh, how to do like emojis with your character. And, you know, like, there's angry, there's uh, happy, there's excited, there's surprised, there's sad. But then today, a character just walks up to my character, and out of nowhere, he's just like, hey, do you want to learn how to sneeze? Oh, my God. And now your character can fucking sneeze oh, out the no. open, and it's just like, what oh, is no. next? Oh, no. What We're going to have you- Animal Crossing crimes? <laughs> like, now it suddenly makes sense why it's all young people in Animal Crossing, no old people, because there's this plague going around killing mamas and papas. <laughs> Like, suddenly it makes sense because, like, I when hope you're you arrive... writing all of this stuff down, dude, because this is good. Well, this now, is fucking good. This is like I'm on a fucking voice recorder right now. I but know. Like, well, technically, yes. It does go the, to the Ethernet forever. The way the game opens up is you're just. You're, no pressure. You're flying to this, you're flying to this deserted island, mm-hmm. you know, on your own. You're a little kid. Your parents aren't there. And you're like, oh, I have this fucking deserted island of my own. And uh, you it's don't dangerous really... to go out alone out there. Use this <laughs> stick. <laughs> well, like, and I remember thinking because I I never played Animal Crossing when I yeah. was a kid. I'm like the GameCube, but yeah. Mandy Mandy was all about Animal Crossing. Like she was right there next to me while I was getting all my shit set up, and I was like, man, there's just something malicious going on here, just under the surface. But yep. I don't know what the fuck it is. Like everybody seems like you know they're all friendly up front, but once you turn their be- turn your back, they're like, oh, let's figure out a way to get this motherfucker. And um, now, go I'm, go into the deep YouTube's on on Animal Crossing. There <laughs> was like 34? essentially yes. There was a uh, like with that first one you mentioned, the GameCube. Mm-hmm. There was like if you didn't log in after fifteen days or a month or a year, your fucking shit looked like apocalypse. No shit. Yeah, apparently so. They had to fucking do like this weird patch in the game and shit. Like for when you came back, I guess it was like. I don't know. You got to Google that shit yourself. I, I can't. I can't give it the full mm-hmm. honorary description it deserves. Because, well, wow. Well, like, I got plenty of plenty of time time on my hands now. But no, suddenly, Say suddenly what? it seems pretty good for Mandy that uh, her kid signs in on her Animal Crossing every day because Mandy's totally lacking on that shit. <laughs> um, so I, I, I just heard. I, I, I just heard. I got to get my kids into fucking Animal Crossing. <laughs> Great. Dude, Animal Crossing is fucking awesome. I'm 25, and I'm all about that shit. I'm almost motherfucking 40. I, I, when Animal Crossing first came out, it was with my first business that I had. Mm-hmm. Um, we were uh, pretty much... What did we call ourselves? We called ourselves the go-to guys, where we were your personal eBay, Google, and or Amazon. We could if you, okay. you didn't if you couldn't find it, we could mm-hmm. because we did. We were like fucking treasure hunters for night shift and doctors. We had a lot of doctor clientele. Mm-hmm. We were like, I'm looking for a th- six foot clock to put on my to put above my eight foot mantle. Mm-hmm. I'm like, done. Let's find that, dude. If only I could do that, but for like IMDb, yeah, like. Oh hey. no, there was there was a lot of movies we he and I found. Dude, like you can hit me up uh at three o'clock in the morning, like who the fuck is that actor who was in that thing? That one time. And it's like, <laughs> oh shit, I already know what you, I already know what you're talking about. Fifty bucks, man, put that shit in my hand. 
<laughs> um, Jay and Bob Silent or Jay and Silent Bob Strike uh, Strike Strike Back Strike Strike yeah. Strike Strike Yep. What's up? What's what, what is up? You crazy fuck? Yeah, J Max in the Discord. <laughs> I forgot to fucking loop this shit. Um. <laughs> Well, where was I? Hopefully it doesn't crash the system as I'm trying to fucking do a live show. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I failed. <laughs> but um. So, yeah, you, we were talking about you got her kids into it. Well, I was kind of going on, uh, uh, on with my th- little... Yeah, uh, with Richard's with my little... island. You were, you, were, you were exploring Richard's island. No, I was moving past that in case you weren't paying attention. <laughs> I know, but no, I couldn't I help it. I was talking about my little Animal Crossing conspiracy yes, theory. Yes, theories. Uh, so what was it? You arrived to your island. I'm sorry, I almost knocked over a table with my jack. <laughs> I was going to say, I almost got Hi, punched in the face. Is that hummus? Oh, oh no! She just silently Sh- we're we're doing me. we're doing food in the studio. Ooh, oh. I hope they're crunchy snacks. That's the best okay. for fully work. Yeah. yeah, it makes great fully work. <laughs> but um, so what is it? You start off Animal Crossing, go into your island, and the whole time I'm just thinking, like, man, what's going to happen? What's everybody? What is the underlying cause of having to move from my home world? And, you know, like, the first day in, uh, you get a letter from your mom, like, hey, honey, I hope you're having a good time. And I'm like, why was I sent away from my mom? <laughs> and then you start getting, and then you see the, the doctor's mask, and you see the sneezing, and it's like, oh, we're taking preventative measure, measures because shit might start going down. But yeah, no, I'm just thinking uh, once I get to like day, day 80. Right. Or uh, 28. We'll say 28 days later after, uh, <laughs> after you after arrive. After the angry virus. <laughs> <laughs> Something's about to go down. Are and you I'm in like, District 13? <laughs> <laughs> Better than District 9. I was going to say, we're, oh, deep cut. Oh, yeah. I fucking love that movie. I was going to say, that was the most, inter- that was like uh, Of Mice and Men. So inadvertently mm-hmm. funny. Um, I like the rabbit stores. I, uh, Come here, little chippy. <laughs> I really, it's in the head with a can. <laughs> I really fucking I, I respect that director because of how many good fucking movies that don't really get a whole lot of media light. Yes. You know, have you ever seen Chappie? Yes. Chappie was fucking awesome, That's man. That's where I learned of um, uh, Die, Die Antwoord. Antwoord. Yeah. I was like, man, it's kind of weird that uh, these guys are here, but it's like, oh, South Africa and... I don't know. I guess there aren't that many South African actors that are like, hey, let's take this. Uh, Scarlett weird, Johansson? Let's take this weird dubstep rap group or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what fuck? And then uh, one of them's like, what, is she a, uh albino? I think she's albino. She's weirdly hot. I, mm, I, I'll i disagree with you on that. Just She's got just, a weird mullet. It's it's the hair that The bangs, the off. straight bang thing yeah, going straight on. Bangs and it's and like, uh, yeah, you're definitely like Euro punk trash, mm-hmm. but in South Africa. Most deaf looked at you and went, whoa. <laughs> and, like, I'm wondering whether uh, the dude in the group, I keep on hearing, like, conflicting rumors. Either he's her husband or her brother or both. And, and he sure. he actually plays into it mm-hmm. on some of the songs oh, yeah. and a lot of the fucking uh, music videos. It's like, what the fuck? I don't question. I just go, okay, terrific. <laughs> <laughs> but we're... We we're talking about Animal Crossing and conspiracies, conspiracy theories, and then South Africa. This Monday Night COVID episode two is just going well. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I'm sitting here learning how to homeschool two kids with uh, co-parenting here. Yeah, not easy. One kinda... of us loves technology; the other one of us hates the fuck out of it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's try and do YouTube webinars. <laughs> Maybe it'll be better, but no. <laughs> I mean, Wikipedia taught me everything. Uh, I did a lot of my own research as a affordable young man. Mm-hmm. Had to. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you were telling me earlier that uh, parents around the country are playing uh, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just had that sudden realization while talking to you about homeschooling. Yeah. Because of how fucking... Uh, stress-inducing that fucking new concept is to people. Because, mm-hmm. uh, like I said, one of us does technology well, the other does not at all, and we'll actually rage quit on a fucking phone. I just I think it's funny how uh, all these years, Jeff Foxworthy was teaching us how to survive the apocalypse with our children. Essentially, yes. It's like, 
It's not, are you smarter than a fifth grader? You need to be smarter than a fifth grader. No, for catch up to, to your fifth graders because yeah. we're catching we're catching something here, folks. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's a lot of conspiracies yeah. or pre foreshadowing in this. I mean, I honestly I don't believe conspiracy theories, but like one <laughs> of these days, conspiracy. I just hmm. I have a I have a stutter. No, I just like that though. It's like skin conspiracy. Skin conspiracy. Will we see Hillary Duff naked in the future? Well, thank you, Henry. That's a good concept. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Henry is bringing up things that I haven't thought about for a long time. <laughs> Rule 34, here I come. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> no, no, that's right. That's right. <laughs> but um, no, like I, I don't believe a whole lot of conspiracy theories. I don't even think of myself as a conspiracy theorist, but I like to think that I can say a lot of things with a straight face, and just one of these days I'm going to say something that sticks. You know? Yeah. Yeah, actually. Yeah. I mean, I just I'd love to see the world go mad over like some new idea that I brought up. Toilet paper? Toilet paper. <laughs> oh wait, too late. Yeah. No. <laughs> the world has lost their I almost did it. Oh, the world's lost their shit because of toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, why not? Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I got I got multiple things going on. I got people tra- talking to me while I'm doing this live feed bullshit. Put the phone down. No, that's okay. And I'm so Not socially you, awkward that once it do- once it goes silent, I just bask in it. Yeah. Well, yeah. For introverts, this is heaven. Oh for- yeah. Oh yeah. In comparison to a full studio, I'm like, is that a Trisket? <laughs> <laughs> and the AD- the ADHD for the fat boys have kicked in. Oh my god, Triscuits! Trisket! Trisket! Dalton is eating another Trisket. Dalton! <laughs> Great Foley work. Oh, man. <laughs> Rosemary and olive oil, take me away. <laughs> Calcon. So, yeah, during this whole stuff, I mean, it's getting more and more interesting and ridiculous. I love the fact that people are doing this, uh, I think, it, I don't know if it's nationwide, but the Heart Homes. Oh yeah, yeah, the March of the Hearts or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but uh, some uh, of my mosquito. Do- There's a bug in the studio. That's a mosquito, motherfucker! Wow, it's spring. There's mosquitoes. We're Get fucked. Here. <laughs> We're fucked. Here comes malaria. Wait, mm-hmm. is that how you cure COVID? Shit. <laughs> no, I think it's the medication for malaria. Mm-hmm. <laughs> here, take this parasite. It will <laughs> eat the. It will eat the COVID out of you. In 2020, that's when we realized we done fucked up. <laughs> We done fucked up in 2016. Yeah, we did. We've been fucking up since 2015. Are you, you kidding me? You killed that gorilla. I'm pretty sure that I yeah, brought it up. It all last started week. with Harambe. You killed that gorilla, and here we are. Yeah, four <laughs> years later. <laughs> it's oh very God. difficult to say some of the things with my daughter in the room, but I know she knows um, time and place. So, dicks out for Harambe, folks. Oh, my God. She's nine. It's been so long <laughs> since I whipped my dick out for the gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> that just made me realize something. So, uh, Mandy's youngest is four years old. Yeah. And Harambe's been dead for four years. Yeah. And, and Madison she acts, acts like, a like a little fucking ape. <laughs> I think she's, she's like the, the Anakin Sky or the, the Luke Skywalker of, uh, the next generation. Like she's going to be what, uh, brings us all back together. The reincarnation of Harambe. Yes. A redheaded Harambe female. Great. Suddenly, and suddenly, I'm more I'm afraid going after my phone. <laughs> I'm more afraid. <laughs> <laughs> no, God. <laughs> I'm honestly the potential. I'm more afraid. I will admit, since we've had less people in the studio with all this shit going on, the beer is just still here. <laughs> I'll put a dent in that. Amazing. Lavin leaves, and we got beer. <laughs> Dalton's having them right now. Yeah, they're in the big boy fridge if you want one. No, she she does the frou frou girly drinks, but oh, she's okay. yeah, the Mrs. Hammer's in the studio, folks. She's not going to be on mic. She's uh, just not feeling it today, but she wants to be a part. She's the introvert extrovert today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Today, today for this episode, and then there's the speaking of introverts versus extroverts. The extroverts are going fucking nuts. I guarantee that none I mean, of them. I'm- I'm kind of having the time of my life. Like, honestly, you're just sitting there going, yeah, this is normal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, like I was never looking for a reason to go out of the house. And now I'm just like, well, now I don't have to cancel on anyone. Yes. Yes, this is true. Um, 
The only thing that I I kind of hate working I like I like working from home more than I like going to work, but at the same time if I'm home, I'd rather not work. And so like I see Mandy hanging out with her kids all day and I'm just like, "Man, I really don't want to fucking work right now." <laughs> yep. Yep, you're sitting there do, uh what's that fucking video meme? You say you're okay, but you're not in that weird playing in the background, the weird music. Yes. <laughs> what she the, said. The nine-year-old knows. Shit. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. It's a weird violin thing, and they... I don't know. It's one of those weird memes. You'll see it when you fucking YouTube the old uh, retired vines. Okay. You say you're okay, but you're not. <laughs> I prob- I've probably seen it before, honestly, but just say there's so many memes Say something I'm giving up on you. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so many memes in the world that, well, ooh, a Triscuit. Fuck being essential. Yes. <laughs> yes, fuck being essential. I am I am having my own bullshit bullshit with being an essential worker myself. I don't like hummus. Okay, there's a new one. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Oh, God, I can taste the black olives. Uh, <laughs> you uh, don't like black olives either. Uh-uh. I've never really noticed a taste of black olives. That's weird. It tastes like not good. <laughs> it tastes like I'm not going to eat this again. I'm on the microphone. It I'm not like going to eat. It tastes like a lot of bad. Just try no, it. No, thank you. Try no, it. thank you. Try it. No, thank try you. Try it. Try oh, it. God damn try it. it. God damn it. <laughs> I hate doing this on the microphone because I, I hate listening to people chew. Well, you know what? With all these introverts sitting inside eating all their uh, Hungry Man meals, sometimes... They just got to hear the nice, soothing sound of another person annoying the shit out of them while they eat. It tastes very good. I just, I know, I'm not, a, I'm not that kind of ASMR guy. You know what? Sometimes these days, like I just miss pop-pops. going to a buffet, sitting down to enjoy my nice meal, and yep. I look over and I see a big portly man and his four kids and his, uh, his, his wife. His portly is four him kids. <laughs> and his portly four kids and his wife, who is oddly too hot for him, but. The She's money's good. The, <laughs> the money's, money's good. good. But this man, <laughs> he looks around at his kids, you know, uh, sitting there, hands in their faces and just elbows on the table waiting for him to get done eating. And he finishes that fifth plate. And just before he goes to get his final dessert, he loosens his belt, sits back and goes, oh, yeah, I miss that. Dad. <laughs> yeah. No, that's my dad. I miss my dad. <laughs> my brother from another mother. Jesus Christ. <laughs> sometimes I just <laughs> Sometimes I just miss the little things when I was a kid like, you know, sitting there waiting for my dad to finish uh eating at the buffet, but it's like the dude just spent $40 on all these kids and he's like I'm going to get my money's worth. And the kids all they've ate is macaroni cheese and fucking ice cream. <laughs> Well, shit. <laughs> I do kind of realize that I'm becoming my father, though. Like, uh, well, when, you, uh, you got Crocs? No, not yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm still not sure. Well, like, the thing is, I really like uh, the idea of super customized Crocs, and I wear a size 15 shoe, so it's like my options are You would black. have to get the head of a Croc. My op- Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> but my options are black or hot rod flames, and I'm just not that kind of guy. I've seen those uh, police car ones that light up. You know, like little kids have. I really think that they should make uh, adult-sized shoes, but with, like, little kid styles. Oh, yeah. Or, like, like the ones with the bouncy balls for the heels. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I had those when I was little. Um, But uh, I remember in, like, 2014, Vans came out with a line from Toy Story. Mm -hmm. They Mm -hmm. had Buzz Lightyear and Woody shoes. They stopped at size 14. No. I think they stopped at size 13, actually. So you're going to have to get Chuck Taylors. Yeah. Chuck Taylor was your fucking friend in high school. Actually, it was New Balance and Nike. No shit. Yeah. I, I didn't was, have a whole lot of options. I was Skechers, Airwalk, and Doc Yeah, Doc Martens. What size what size what size Taylor. sluts are you? Uh, I'm I'm uh, was a ten and then uh graduated into an eleven. God. So I'm I'm a common average shoe size. I'm uh not not the pants size. I last wore elevens when I was eleven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you're also 6'5". I'm only 6'2". Yeah. Well, I stopped growing when I was 15 years old. Oh, wow. Like, I, was able, I was able to measure... How you don't have a deeper Andre the Giant-esque voice is beyond me. I don't know. 
I really don't know. Like, I look at people who are like <laughs> the, the look, same size. That as me. thought process hit your head too, because I seen the eyebrows. <laughs> like, holy shit, I don't know either. <laughs> I mean, like, I always question it from time to time because, like, I hear recordings of my own voice, and it's like, dude, you sound like you're fucking five four. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, like, I think that I have the voice of a child, and it's like, man. Tiny balls. No, I don't. I don't even think that, and nor do I think that far because that would just be too much awkward. Uh, awkward. That would be like a Henry Strader innocent five year old question on a legit series. <laughs> but uh, I digress. The uh, no, I, I view you as like almost an equal here. You're 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 be- doing a lot better than I am in the comedic world. I mean, I don't even have the huevos to do that no more. I mean, right now we're all on the same level. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, podcasters and video bloggers. I mean, honestly, I've been kind of looking at it as like a, a nice, well needed break because I've been working so hard over the past. Um, God, almost a year. Mm-hmm. I've been working harder than I have in the past eight years of doing comedy, and it's mm-hmm. just like I needed. Well, you to also take came back, back to a desolated island. Yeah, I, yeah. No, it was Rock lot... County, Janesville area. Nothing. This place is Trump's breeding ground. This place is like Animal Crossing. Yeah. Okay. There you go. This place is like Animal Crossing. Yes. You say goodbye <laughs> to your parents for, for <laughs> some reason and landed on the lonely island of Rock County. <laughs> Ironically, I came back because I missed my dad. Oh, I gotcha. I was living in Madison for. Uh, about three years, I was working at the post office. Okay, uh, okay. Working third shift for a, a lot while of jokes and... there. A lot of lot of fucking good good rumination on that. It's honestly like it was. Like you were a... working the worst of the worst. You were a postal worker on third shift. Mm-hmm. I yeah. I How are third... you not in a kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> working as a chef or line cook, whichever. Honestly, like uh, I've even given thought to the culinary trade, but because uh, like I love cooking, but. Um, too stressful of an environment, man. Yeah. Too yeah. stressful of an environment. I need to work at my own pace. Um, what's up? And there's what's not up? enough money. Not enough money. Not enough money. Thanks, Rose. And you're not an essential employee in this time of the restaurants being closed. Holy fucking... Um, that pisses me off. Speaking of essential employee... I yeah, just here we go. Slap it. About... Did you get the mosquito? Yeah, I'm sure that I did. It okay. probably landed in my vape. Or on the back of your palm. <laughs> <laughs> And now I have malaria. Yes. And it was that realization. <laughs> now you can take my blood and cure the COVID. <laughs> um, but speaking of being an essential employee. <laughs> oh, it's the Black Plague all over again. <laughs> we'll bleed him. It'll cut, it'll cut his fever. Uh, Start bathing in your shit, people. <laughs> malaria, COVID, dysentery, botulism. He's got it all. It's he's the, the Keith, he's the Keith Richards of the diseases. It's the melting pot of diseases. It's like Jersey Shore all over again. Oh my god, walking on Jersey Shore. <laughs> Not the episodes. That was just, that was proof that we needed COVID. <laughs> Fucking uh, Richard and I recently rewatched the episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, where they go to the Jersey Shore. No, oh, no. The episode with the uh, uh, rum ham. Okay, okay. I don't know. I just felt like bringing it up. I didn't feel like talking about it. Maybe sometimes I just want to go rum ham. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, you were oh, yeah. talking about malaria, mosquitoes, clap, and then it was um, missing I, dad, I Madison, to... on a lonely island with Richard. <laughs> 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 it's guy love between two guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but uh, speaking of essential employees, my time at the post office... Um, so I don't know how much you know about uh, like terms of seniority in uh, uh, federal employment facilities. Ah. So basically, um, jobs worked in kind of like a bidding style. So like you would you would bid on a job, and that was your job. Those so hours were yours. That position was yours. You just spoke a whole lot of fucking similarities to having a union job. It was a union job. Okay, I've been on a union. Okay. Okay. Um, and so basically the only ways that um, – so when you start out as uh, a non-career employee, I started out as an casual. MHA, a mail handler's assistant. Okay. It was non-career, but I wasn't a casual. It was still like a, a you full-time paying position. Dues yet. Guaranteed I was paying dues. Oh, okay, okay. I was on a union. That was the difference between uh, a pimp MHAs and, an ass- and casuals. And a, I was going to say a, a pimp and an assistant pimp. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> same wavelength. Same yes. Wavelength. Yes. Yes. But, Almost. Um, Different different jobs. <laughs> so in order in order for an MHA to be converted to career and become a mail handler, and I don't know whether or not my uh, uh, NDA can get me sued for talking about this. I just think that it's an interesting thing to talk about, and it really uh, illustrates my depression at that job. Um, well, yeah. So in order to be converted from a non-career to a career, you had to wait for a job to open up. So mm-hmm. in order for a job to open up, Either some big grievance had to happen and they would create new jobs, or <coughs> someone would bid out of a job, that was a wet cough. leaving the job empty. Everyone else would bid, and if that job went empty, you would get converted. Okay. Or <laughs> it sounds almost like a religion too. Or mm-hmm. someone died. Oh yeah. And the job opened up. Guess what happened to the, yeah, turn I'm, me into a? Career? I'm going to say the latter. A guy died. Yeah, the, the a guy ladder. fucking died, and mm-hmm. I took his job. Um, he took my job. I died, and he took my job. Well, I took his job. <laughs> I took your job. Um, I don't feel so good. Die so I can take your job. <laughs> but yeah. So to talk about my fifis for a minute, oh, and yeah. why I hated that job so much, it got me thinking for a while about how, to these people, I was just a job. So because like I remember the conversation that I had with my union steward uh, when that job opened up, and like even other people, like my supervisors. The guy died, and they were like, oh, yeah, it's so sad. But, hey, his job opened up. Yeah, they're, they're focused on the mission. Mm-hmm. They're just mm-hmm. focused on the mission. And, like, I looked around, and I saw all these people uh, more than twice my age ready for in- ready for retirement, but looking like they were on the brink of death. Yep. And, and then you look at the statistics, mm-hmm. and it's like the average person after working that position or in that department of uh, careers, usually it's two years after they retire, they're dead. Yeah. Yeah, um, and uh, then, uh, like, some shit happened during my last year. I had a back injury, and it really got me thinking, like, can I do this for another uh, 30 <laughs> back injury years? before your girlfriend currently, and wow, okay. <laughs> Interesting life choice you made, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's why. Bitch is going to throw his Mandy, back uh, out. <laughs> when Mandy talks shit about my back, I'm like, fucking listen here. <laughs> listen here. <laughs> You're going to be 30 and in a walker. Like, I went to a chiropractor when I was 24, mm. and they told me that I had the, the spine of a, a 40-year-old. Well, you, like, that is also a tall man's curse, too. Absolutely, because I've had bad posture pretty much all my life. Um I hunch my neck over when I'm in a chair. And, and I guarantee you, half yeah. of our listenership usually, just straightened up in their chairs. Like, usually um, when yeah. I mention that I have bad <laughs> posture, I see someone else straighten out their back. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, no, so, like, it, it made me kind of really take a step back and think. And, you know, at the same time, Richard and I were working at the post office for a long time together. We oh, started, he was a postal worker as well? We started at the same time. We started on the same day. We, uh, Him, me, and another friend of ours, we used to carpool between Janesville and Madison every okay. day for about six months. And that was about, a, what, a 30 to 30 to 45-minute trip, depending on traffic and such? 45 minutes. I could knock it down to a good 20 because I, draw, I drove home when the traffic was light. Right. When it was nighttime. And, and you I sped spent, the fuck out of it, I apparently. I 90. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's the nice thing about living in the mid, uh, in the mid coast, the Midwest mid coast. <laughs> what the fuck is a mid coast? I have no idea. That just came out. Holy <laughs> shit. Now I'm just going to call Wisconsin the mid coast. <laughs> there's no, there's no coast. There's nothing. Yeah. You want to go tip some cows, bro? Yeah, bro. Some gnarly cows. Watch out for Beauregard though. He's a gnarly one. Well, I've been chugging <laughs> on new Glarus all day, bro. <laughs> it's the home of PBR. It's just natural. You know what's my favorite word? Line and Kugel. <laughs> I was going to say Point Brewery. <laughs> <laughs> There's just fucking no beer names. That's the only reference I, I can make. <laughs> I was going to say, New Glarus. What else is there? <laughs> what else is there in the world than PBR, my dude? Yeah. I mean, the, uh, now we're going to go Lebowski. This would essentially be the fucking uh, Lebowski capital if it wasn't Nevada. Bowling. <laughs> bowling. <laughs> Welcome to a state that celebrates two sports, bowling and curling, outside of football and the Brewers. Fucking, in, uh, <laughs> in fifth grade, I had this substitute teacher who took over my class because uh, my teacher got pregnant, and she was super into curling. 
She took well, it is a fucking... good position to get pregnant in if you're doing curling. Study I mean, that shit, at her, folks. and even when I, w- when I was just at the beginning of my uh, mid-pubescence. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> we already got an oh god from the barnyard. She took us. Uh, she took us curling, and it was like the worst fucking field trip I'd ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna go. I wonder how she got pregnant. No, now it was just uh, curling is stupid. <laughs> My fifth grade teacher was hot. Eh. My what? Sixth... Have you met her? No. You don't. You don't know her, dude. You disrespected her by going. Eh. 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 I haven't had a whole lot of hot teachers. I, I, mm, I, I've only had one, really, and then two, technically, because when I graduated, I, I went to back to the old high school to pick up my records for my next tour of duty, and then there was like, whoa, you're, you're a teacher. <laughs> then I went on a date with her before I went into the military. <laughs> ooh, ooh, hot for teacher. Uh, it couldn't have been played. It couldn't have been played. She just was a teacher, oh. and I was transitioning into the military. Keep on forgetting that I'm dating a teacher. <laughs> you know how disappointing it is dating a teacher <laughs> who isn't into a teacher student fetish? Uh, or thankfully isn't because that's just really weird. She's a P for J teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's a preschool teacher, man. That would be like, okay. You stay away from my toddler, Casey <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> you went murder. I went, ooh. That's okay. The, that's the only thing. Is so wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Can I get another beer, please? Yes, of course. <laughs> Are you on a crispy Bieber, dude? Yeah. <laughs> that Midwest cow surfing is gonna be fucking stuck in my head for a while now. <laughs> we just, you know, we gotta wait for a nice rainstorm so the mud's all nice out in the field. We go up to the cow. They don't. You gotta be quiet because you know. They're pretty cool. They're pretty chill until you grab their tail, and that's when we go cow surfing. But Cody, <laughs> Cody, I need you. I need you at the front because that's where we need your haunches, bro. Uh, yeah, and you got You're... the best car heart out there. Got to right. make it Wisconsin. Got to make it Wisconsin. And Todd, Todd, you're built like a fucking brick shit house. And dude. you're wearing those Ariat bits. Yeah. Those yeah. are fucking crispy. So you got to get a running start because you got those cleats. <laughs> You've been playing so much lacrosse, bro. Oh, Your God. calves are so fucking tight. Welcome you to got- the Midwest, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it was like in the early 90s, honestly. Man, I think, uh, well, I think we need everyone to was talking like this, but you're from Wisconsin, so they're, they're kind of talking like this. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how do you combine that? You don't. Wait, I think Wisconsin has like proved it. I was going to say that Wisconsin has proved it in the 90s. You don't. Cuz then it's just all Dayglo bullshit and farm equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've seen neon green John Deere's out in a field with the California style fucking paint job. It was crispy. I got to use It my... was radical, dude. <laughs> Radical. Radical, dude. How the fuck do you combine those? You, you got to talk like you're from Manitowoc there, hey. Burb. Yeah, the burbs. Hey, yo, burb. Yeah. You got to talk like you're from the uh, the, 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 the sub-suburbs there. Burb. And get then you got to put it. You, you got you to kind of get in the car, man. And then you got to sit there and go, hey, you got to get in the car, don't you know? Yeah, Isn't dude. It, is it just like just slowly flowing in it's, and it's out? It's a slowly flow in and out, but you got to keep it. Got to try and keep it a rhythm. You just got to get out with the ebb and flow. Yeah. Dude. You gotta get. It's like cow tipping, man. You gotta be quiet because those crispy cows ain't gonna tip themselves. Yeah, those crispy cows. Don't dude, you know? <laughs> they got some shifty eyes, bro. Just think about what happens if Keanu Reeves came to Wisconsin to live. Oh my fucking god! There I you go, Keanu. <laughs> like Bill and Ted, Keanu. Oh my god! I can just imagine Keanu is <laughs> Keanu Keanu's from like, from right Wisconsin. Now, Keanu man. is like the yeah, just number kinda, one human going, being in the world. Fucking! I did a report on Keanu. First semester of yes, school. Yes, go, go, well, go like, with it. Because I, I hold, like I was talking. He is about the how... anti Jane Fonda in my book. Yeah, he's the he's he is what I want to be someday. He's just an amazing fucking human being, and he's been an amazing human being since he was in Hollywood. Yes, like goes to Hollywood, still has his own little suburban like what house apartment whatever, mm-hmm. and just Gen Pop. Yeah, I think he. Yeah, he just he rents an apartment and he gave away like seventy percent of his fucking Matrix earnings. To uh to the the studio workers mm-hmm. because uh their like their funding got cut or yep. something like that yep yep and he was like no you guys work so much harder than I do here I'm just Take a guy playing money. on the stage man you guys are like fullies and lights and whoa 
<laughs> yeah, I just I I'm imagine, just the one. <laughs> I really I want to see the behind the scenes footage of the Matrix because I just imagine a lot of it was just Keanu going, "How did that happen? Yeah, whoa." How'd you do that? <laughs> now it's John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the range all day, and it's like bang, bang, whoa. Yeah, I just <laughs> as much as it is to fu- as much fun as it is to pick on Keanu Reeves. He, like I said, one hundred percent man who has been tried and stayed nice. Well, and it's like he the... falls in love, they get pregnant, kids stillborn. Like uh, mm-hmm. fucking year later, she dies in a car accident or something yeah. like that, and he's never fucking dated or loved again so to speak because well, he, you know uh, he's apparently uh uh found someone again fairly recently fuck yeah dude uh he was at like a red carpet event and he was with someone you know he looked really happy i don't really know much he's about john this fucking trip, but... wick how can you not be really fucking happy with a puppy well uh i <laughs> <laughs> there's literally a video of him just answering questions and playing with puppies and it's the cutest fucking thing in the world <laughs> I, I love, love that you brought that up yeah and also the i i don't know if I've ever seen it happen. Keanu Reeves reads re- Keanu Reed re- Keanu reads hateful tweets. I have not seen that one yet. I wonder if it exists. Like uh, Jimmy I don't Kimmel think that does that. Has anything negative to say about? Oh, him. I'm sure they do. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they yeah. do because I mean, you you they even said it about Heisenberg. Mm-hmm. He looks like a combination of Jim Carrey and fucking. All right, all right, uh, that guy. Oh. uh... Matt McC- McConaughey, he goes, and then he just responds, to, and then you got Gwyneth Paltrow getting fucking hated on. Well, easily done. Yeah, vagina candles. I mean, fucking, <laughs> but no, uh, Brian yes. Cranston. Yes, that is a thing. They somebody made fucking candles out of the uh, 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 cavities, like they molded the cavity of their yeah. v- vaginal cavity and made fucking candles out of them. This is a thing. I mean, come on, does it surprise you? We've covered fucking chocolate starfish, like. Literally chocolate starfishes on this show. Strippers would fucking dump chocolates in their ass and fucking make candy kisses out of their brown eye. Well, I mean, and now that's a service that you can pay for. Exactly. Well, now it's mail order. Yeah. It's so common, it's like on Amazon. Now. I'm sure that there's like a kit. Make make chocolate out of your bunghole. Yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you brew it directly in the factory. <laughs> Bring you make your bu- a mold out of it. Wash say, out the mold. You got that you old school fucking factory mold. music from Looney Tunes. Dun 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 dun. Do you think dun, that it's <laughs> like do you think that it's like you pull out the kit, hike your hike your ankles behind you your ears? <laughs> I like that. Hike your ankles behind your ears, dump the dump the Hot chocolate into your fucking ass crack. It's hot. And then you just set your butt up against the refrigerator until it cools four to six hours. If I did that. Hold on, Ro. Go ahead. If I did that, you would totally <laughs> fucking eat that piece of chocolate. Well, I mean, yeah. just, just for the novelty. Oh, just out of novelty too. and respect. Give me a break. I dropped my pen. <laughs> pen 15. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote 8,008 on a calculator. Guess what it said? (laughs) (laughs) I could set my my calculator upside down and look what happens. (laughs) I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, Keanu. Keanu's asshole (laughs) chocolate. Keanu's asshole chocolate. Next episode of Shots from the Balcony, Keanu asshole chocolate. It's just dingleberries. (laughs) (laughs) No, we call those raisin nuts. (laughs) The snozberries taste like snozberries. (laughs) <laughs> mm. I can't wait for the video game that he's going to be in Cyberpunk 2077 What? Yeah uh, So the people who made The Witcher uh, Yes Toss a coin CD Projekt Toss a Fuck. coin to your Witcher <laughs> um, Which by the way is my ringtone No shit I'm all about the fucking Witcher In I've, case I didn't tell you about this I want to play the game But I, I, like I said I have two tiny, tiny you humans You don't have time for it I, it's I'm it's in love like with like, Henry, so anything with him. No, is Henry Coville. Henry Cavill. Not Henry, Henry Strader. <laughs> she hate don't not to get it twisted, folks. She hates Henry. <laughs> um him I and honestly, his fucking I, bowl cut. I didn't know how Henry Henry Cavill was going to do, and I had low low expectations. The moment I seen him go Witcher, mm, fuck. I went, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I was in from the first episode. I was like, oh, these people love the games. They love the books too. Um well, but, Henry uh, Cavill's a gamer. Yeah, Cavill. Yeah. Cavill. I didn't. I didn't know that until uh, he started doing interviews. But like some, uh, yeah, someone, someone right did an when interview you with him where he was like, uh, yeah. uh, PlayStation or Xbox, and he just scoffs and goes PC. Yeah, PC World Dom. <laughs> um, but uh, what was it? Um, so I don't know whether or not you know this about me, but like 
I probably in, not. I We're still getting to know each other. Like I love, I love the games and I yeah. love the books. It's my favorite series. So when do I share the, the books, ever. what's that? Do you own the, the graphic books? novels I or do the, own books? the books? The books. The books. The novels. The novels, novels, and not the graphic novels. No. The graphic. They're fucking good. Yeah. So um, fun fact, folks. We're actually readers here at this table. <laughs> but uh, the two graphic- grammarians and a fucking nurse. Gee, I'm pretty sure the or graphic novels tech. are based on the the video games. But the video games. J Mac are- just went. Oh wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the video games are based on the books. Like, and uh, what happens in the video games isn't even what goes on in the book. It's it actually takes place after the book, and uh, the TV show is based directly on the book. So what happens in the show is what happens in the book. And I just loved how closely they played to what goes on in the book. Um, Like, it had stuff for the people who love the video games, but it was made directly for the people who were like, yeah, I'm all about the fucking books. Yes. It was, it's so approachable to new people, you know, like fans of Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings. There was a whole bunch of contention going on with uh, Yennefer, I, I caught. Like, what do you mean? She didn't quote unquote look like the video game. You're talking about Triss. Um Redhead? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh don't Yennefer? get it twisted. I love the way Yennefer looks. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh <laughs> oh yeah. I do I think she's hotter in the video games, but that's just because I have a I have a thing for pale girls with dark hair. Um That would explain a few things. <laughs> um Mandy's got pale skin, but dyes her hair commonly dark. <laughs> Yeah, um, and he's got a. Th- you know, I like Dalton because he cannot lie. He likes big butts. I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the butt; it's the hips. Okay, we get it. I'm. Just, it's just relax. Mm, I gravitate towards where. Uh, I gravitate where it's, it's going. It's got its own gravitational pull. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> it has I, a I satellite. Gravity, I go where gravity <laughs> takes me. Um, but uh, yeah, they were. Uh, Yo, mama, butt so big. It's good. <laughs> like um. Yeah, it's it's Back kind to of hard Witcher, to yes. uh, to make everybody happy when it comes to you know little things like that. And I think uh, a lot of people who were only fans of the games were going to be upset mm-hmm. by the mm-hmm. show because um, once again the the show wasn't catered to the gamers. It had the little things for the people who liked the game, yeah, but it wasn't for them. Um, and like I don't want to, I don't want to <laughs> act like a super fan that was like, "Well, I read the books first. That makes me the number one fan." I played the game. Honestly, you just hit, after. you just hit every fucking key of grammarian douchebag that I hate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I read the book first, and like <laughs> you uh, sound like Bane as a grammarian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Batman! There was the best of times. It was the worst of times. <laughs> I was born in the nonfiction section, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in. God damn it. I was born with old man and the she. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I hate that book, too. <laughs> it's okay. That is Leonardo DiCaprio's <coughs> favorite book. Yeah, what, The Old Man and the Sea? Big fucking surprise. I would have thought that it was The Great Gatsby. I would have, nah, honestly, I th- would have thought it was What's Eating Gilbert Grape. I love that movie. <laughs> it was his best role. <laughs> With his big mama. No, it wasn't. That Did was Big Revenant? Mama's House. The yes, prequel. I've seen Revenant. I was not impressed. Really? Yes. I love that. Is that mm, a Bronson? was so fucking No, real. that was an Amor. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> that was an Amor. Um, Amor Hammer. I heard The Call of the Wild. The new one. I read with... that book. See, now, I, every time someone says Call of the Wild, I think of Into the Wild. Yes. With Emil Hirsch. Too, that too. Um, Damn it. Bring it. <laughs> oh, Emil, yeah. Emil Hirsch. Hammer's going. But, uh, Hammer's down. Okay, well, now that Hammer's gone, uh, I'm running show. the show. I'm going to talk to you more about The Witcher. Okay. Yeah, that's right. This is the show within a show where we toss a coin to our Witchers. Donate to Patreon, everybody. Toss a coin to your Witchers, oh, Valley of Plenty. Um, but uh, one thing that I really love about uh, what's been going on with The Witcher right now is just how uh, um, people are starting to, to share a love for something that I've had a love for for such a long time. Like, I had this moment in a bar that I never expected would happen. I just, I randomly saw this guy, and uh, he had a, a Witcher book right next to him, and it was like, holy shit, other people really like what I like, and it's like, you know, fucking awesome. Because, like, I was worried that I had kind of just this uh, uh, little... Weird thing. Yeah, this weird thing that I was just weirdly into. It was like I was into playing was Dungeons and Dragons before everybody else was into playing Dungeons Wait, and Dragons. Wait, you played as well? Played uh, D&D. I do play D&D. I used to. 
Um, I try to <laughs> actually. Uh, oh boy! Oh, week, did we uh, did we just become best friends? Yup. <laughs> Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yup. Um, I would pay oh. to see you guys try that in our garage. Oh my god, we. I was gonna say so fast. Uh, well, that it would be so uncoordinated. It would be like fucking retards humping a doorknob. <laughs> Except the retards have more rhythm than us. I mean, there's no more political <laughs> correct way to put it. That's exactly how it would look. Yes. Remedials. Oh my God. Remedial. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I was expecting you. Welcome to the part where we do a show within a show. The Witcher Hour. He's the fine. Witch, the Witcher <laughs> Hour. <laughs> and I was expecting you to combine it with your Betty Page Wellness Watch. He's fine. <laughs> mm, <Garrett's> fuck. Fine. <laughs> mm, fuck. <laughs> what do you have to say about our our current situation in the world, Geralt? Mm, fuck. <laughs> 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 He's so hot, though. But uh, I really I'm not going to get involved with killing dragons. Yennefer's involved. Son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> I think it's. I, I think I love The Witcher though because I resonate with so many different characters in there, not just. Oh, I was going to say Geralt because he just goes, mm, "Fuck, well, like, I don't want to get involved." Uh, He's a very internalized yet deep person, and I think that they really. Uh, showed that so well in the show because oh yeah, you know, like when you when you look at like a, a dark gravelly uh, killer for high, higher characters, you don't like, think the guy have... who played fucking Superman first and foremost, and to see him in that, yeah. wow, yeah, it's like and he no, played he did it well. so well. God, Rose, you are a disgusting human being. My eyes are up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for for little known fact, Lady Hammer uh, really likes Henry Cavill. Uh, she double clicks the bean. <laughs> While tossing a coin to the Witcher, <laughs> she wants some good finger movements. <laughs> She's playing the furlies on her clitoris. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I could have said chopsticks. I made a bad decision coming. <laughs> Chopstick re- requires two players. <laughs> She's just that talented. Do your her chopsticks is only fun with two players. Do your soldier boy thing. No, no, that was a Patreon episode. Soldier boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Double Fuck it. God damn you. it. I'll tell Dalton off the air. For those of you guys who really want to know, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Bad Habits Network. It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there. We put so much content out in the last five years. I lost track. <laughs> I don't even know the names I have of these episodes anymore. <laughs> we got stuff that took off. We got stuff that didn't take off. We got stuff that's just sitting there waiting to be rediscovered or touched upon. Once you put a bad habit down, you can pick it up again. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Just saying. So we were talking video games and video game accessories. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got way off track from the COVID conversation. <laughs> Well, I mean, honestly, right now, I think we do need kind of a distraction. Yeah, big time, because yeah. especially with what's going to happen next, no one knows, mm-hmm. quote unquote. Well, like, I'm kind of happy that uh, at least I'm out of the position where I was, you know, going into work every day because I, I had just started a job before all this shit started. Like, I was still in the training process and I work in a call center. So, like, you can't <laughs> you can't just expect them to fucking send you home to work from home within a week of having experience with that shit. So right. like for a while I was really worried that um they'd just fire us and I'd be, you know, without a job right now. Yeah. Or really laid off to... and unemployment and all that other shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I really have to be thankful for uh just, you know, my timing for uh you know joining the company. But oh yeah, also... that's right. You just joined them. I yeah. I totally neglected that fact. I was in the middle of training. Um, Ooh. I'm still in training. <laughs> technically. <laughs> but like uh I'm I'm working with a surprisingly cool company because you know like I have a group chat for for whenever I need help yeah and they provide you with you know just so much in the moment stuff right to help get you out of a bind and it's just like boom fuck Miralax. mic drop yeah Miralax Miralax why are we talking about duty you said to get you out of a bind I said Miralax I, I use, see what I you use did milk there. of magnesia <laughs> I use that grape flavored. What is that stuff called? Dokalax. D- yeah, it, the Dokalax. I drink the whole bottle of it. I found you, bubble uh, gum from five years ago, and I didn't even chew bubble gum back then. Have you ever tried Epsom salts? <laughs> uh, eating them or smoking them? 
<laughs> drinking it. Sticking the no, Murphy drinking rock. it. No. It is it is like a laxative had sex. It is like the Pineapple Express of laxatives. One laxative had sex with another laxative. And made this Epsom salt in your system. Mm-hmm. So you'll find the fifth grade bubble gum that you still haven't even figured out that you ate. I had the cold shakes on the toilet. Oh, shit. Yeah. Look, wow. I mean. <laughs> My ex talked me into. I wish into Sean time. was here right no. now. Okay. One of Don't us. Don't do that to yourself. That's so not good. Honestly. Oh, it cleared me out. I, I wish I, I do. Sean, mad shout out to you. Love you, Bubba, because you've had a colonoscopy. You've you've done. Pardon the expressions here. You've done some of the shit that we're talking about. <laughs> You've been cleaned out for a colonoscopy. I kind of want your info on this shit, literally. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm kind of like, I, I'm I'm like an old soul, fucking, but I have an old body. <laughs> <laughs> Young man, old soul, I have an a, older body. <laughs> I have the back of a 40-year-old and the, the digestive system of a fucking 60-year-old. <laughs> Sometimes I just got to clear myself out, but like the first time I was going to say, I was I'm constantly... still trying to get rid of my teen years for my digestive system. <laughs> I fart like it's still funny, which sometimes it is. God, would you quit fucking farting? It doesn't fucking ever end. <laughs> I'll admit there are times where I'm just like, God, can I just stop farting for five minutes, please? <laughs> exactly. My God. <laughs> it's old even for me. <laughs> but I mean, hey, sometimes you just have to say to yourself, hey, I'm farting. I don't have appendicitis. Anymore. <laughs> Anymore. Anymore. Thank God for the procedure. Yeah, now I just got to figure out what the next step is, because damn. <laughs> is it my gallbladder? <laughs> you need a... um. I need a colon stool cleanse. Stool transplant. No, uh, oh, I, do, I do feel like I'm kind of just sitting they on my... They take poop. This is stool. actually a thing. Yes, because oh, yeah. people Holy... have... No, 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 this is a thing? This is a yes, thing. Yes, because people have, like, there's some people that have really good flora... Oh, okay. So, so it's like the, it's like a fucking yeah, the, yeah. The gastric by the gastric bypass, the gastrointestinal fucking gut biome shit. Yes, that Good is bacteria. That it's weird that they do it with a turkey baster, but hey, it's a doctor. You got to trust them. Uh, I thought that's how we did it with Chucky. I don't know how it's right of Chucky. worked, but I've heard it actually has helped people. I still don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to commit. <laughs> I would rather just fucking clean it all out. And then start taking probiotics again. <laughs> hey, there's and no, no more... dairy. <laughs> it farts so bad that the neighbors close their windows. Yes, true story. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I think the landfill is coming in the window. <laughs> and Josh. <gasps> <gasps> in the yard. Jeff dry heaving on his fucking hands and knees. Yes, I know. I, know. I do think that Mandy and I are trying to gas each other out now. That's, that's cool. <laughs> Almost got me. I'm, I'm, do go, go ahead. Quarantine it, it, is going to kill people. It's just like it's going to lead to divorces and murder. We finally started to let our hair down and just let loose around each other. And I, oh, you're at that stage. <laughs> I mean, she's finally at that stage. I've been at that stage for a while. You know, just farting day one. Yeah, if she's comfortable with you farting around her, she fucking she accepts you. Yeah, no, like I, I like to, I like to ease my Men way into fart. the conversation. I'm just like. <laughs> Are we at that point where I can fart in front of you yet? Oh, you actually ask. I did ask. Oh, that's yeah. a cultural thing too, because there's some cultures in other countries you don't fart in front of each other. Yeah, Japan, flatulence and belch. Well, belching is a sign of um, good cooking. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, compliments to the chef, burp, yeah. or uh, wolfing it down or something like gor- gout, gorging, engorging, engorging, like fucking just wolfing it down. That's mm-hmm. a compliment to the chef. No, uh, no co- uh, condiments, engorging. If you don't use any condiments and f- like salt, pepper, uh, ketchup, and shit like that, and just wolf down the natural product, mm-hmm. that is the ultimate compliment for a chef over in like Japan huh. or uh, China. Chi- China. Also, bat China. soup. Try the bat soup, folks. <laughs> 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 Got to keep it go. Got to keep it COVID. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, check out the sensation that's sweeping the nation. <laughs> it's the diet. Just a con. <laughs> it's to die for. It's a heavy part on the die. <laughs> <laughs> so you're getting comfor- you're getting more and more comfortable with the COVID quarantine. Yeah, the yeah. quarantine a mix up mixer. Fucking cat! Wow, I forgot you had. You want to see my downstairs mixer? No, it's the Corona mixer. I have no interest in your downstairs mixer. That is Gary's business. I am old Greg. <laughs> That's his man cave. That's old Greg. Make an assessment. You ever drank Bailey's out of a shoe? Yes! He knows! The mighty boosh! The mighty boosh! 
So uh, you're saying you're getting more more comfortable with each other. She's starting to fart around you? Yeah. Well, I wrote down a note. I have my... witnessed this girl fart on people. I mean. <laughs> Better than me peeing on people. She did do it on my you arm do it, you Okay, that, that connotation, Rose, makes it sound like you're into uh, giving golden showers. Not the case, folks. No, Rose this is Rose has a controllable bladder. Yeah, she has a she has a very sensitive bladder where if she even sneezes funny, she has to cross her legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's your fault. I have a note on here that says antisocial dickening, and I know that I wrote it before the show, but I just can't remember what I wanted to talk about. We were talking dickening. about uh Mandy not being people wanting to people. Because she was yeah. getting she was getting the anti cabin fever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Introvert uh, versus extrovert kind of thing, and I was just like, Yeah, no. That's no. part of the reason why uh she didn't come here today. She was just kinda like I need to be alone for a minute. Good. And, we all uh, need that. Well, like, uh, and, you know, being a, go- a good boyfriend, I turned to her and I asked, uh, all right, uh, do you want me to, to leave for a bit? And she was like, hey, you're not really bothering me right now. Right now. And I just, well, like, I, I took that. I took that as give it time. <laughs> well, like, you can take it like that. But the way that I see it, that's kind of like a, it's a deeper way to say I love you. You okay. know, like when you're really okay. sick of people. But you're like, but you you're, can stay. You're I, I, okay. I, I'm tired. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't talk to me. Don't touch me. But you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> what does this have to do with antisocial dickening? So your I'm dick is so only, good. Your so dick is so good that it makes her antisocial with other that. people. <laughs> so I'm not the only. One don't be that fucking pointing that. your finger at me, woman. I know that. <laughs> I know you're crazy, and crazy attracts more crazy. And I'm crazy, too. I'm yeah, going to admit just, it. I can't remember. I can't remember. I think I had a story. But it, it was like it was like your dick know. was so good, she'd go antisocial for it. I don't know. Because she is a social butterfly. I mean, I th- maybe it's like... Mandy's like me. Social, but then I need a long She's time. the introverted mm-hmm. extrovert. I'm, a, I'm that way, too. Oh, well, and then I'm like, the, I'm like the introverted extrovert where... You're I on can, stage and you be... hate people. Uh, you hate can... people so much that you get on stage and go, look at me, motherfuckers, I'm making you laugh. Yeah, Leave me I, alone. I work in customer <laughs> service. Like I, I, I put myself into situations that I just really don't like because I want to excel in them. Yeah, like, um, like uh, with me in the gym. I hate running. I'm going to make it my bitch. Oh, my God. Don't even talk to me. Don't even talk to me about the gym right now. I'm pissed off about it myself. We fucking... shouldn't be paying for it if we can't fucking go. Exactly. I don't even know if I am paying for it. I haven't checked my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I need to do, too, because I don't even know if it came out this month. I'm like, uh, why am I paying for something I can't even get into? I mean, I just I think it's funny how uh, I was looking for so many excuses not to go to the gym. And now that I have a really good excuse, you can't go. You can't go. No, no I want to no. go. Motherfucker. No, no, no. Not essential. <laughs> no. <laughs> you forget your heart problems, honey. Eat your Cheerios. Walk, eat your Cheerios and walk around the block a few times, you fat fuck. <laughs> but Cheerios aren't always good because they're pure carb. But anyway. This is a true statement. It's like, well, it's like eating a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast. It's great for the constitution. Not really much anything else. It is good for your cholesterol, they say. They say. It is a complex I, carb, but too much carbs is too much carb. I just period. eat it for more. I just eat it for my morning constitution. That's poop for those of you paying. I shit myself the first time I had oatmeal. What? Yeah. I'm listening. Well, you were in diaper? (laughs) Eggs used to make me poop a lot, but they're okay now. My uh, my first time having oatmeal, I think, I was was like 15. What? Uh, I never had it before, and I was like, you know what? Mom! I want some oatmeal. Mom, You never had oatmeal before you were 15 years old? My parents never made it. And I was like, you know what? I want to... Don't look at me like that, Amriel. (laughs) Look at your tablet. Get back to your JoJo Get back to, right yeah, now. I was going to say. Oh, she hates that chick. <laughs> Get back to Azzy Land. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the kids are into these days. Fuck not. They had- She's into like the shit. makeup tutorials and scary shit. I, I'm going to say I'm going to say she's she's the perfect combination of mother and father because she's into Azzy Land, like make, okay. makeup tutorials, and then she wants to see the supernatural scary shit. Okay. All right. <laughs> She's making it her bitch. <laughs> okay. All right. No. You cool? You cool, Amriel? You cool, <laughs> you cool hey. little girl? Okay. Hey. So you ate how much oatmeal? Yes. Uh, like what? A, a normal yeah. serving or? See, now, at this point in my life, I was huge on the on the portions. Like, I used to eat a big family size. Oh, yes. Former fat man to former fat man. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. I used to I used to eat, like, whole cans of fucking uh, ravioli. That was right and, from the can. Didn't even want to yeah. wait. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't save leftovers when I when I ordered out. I, I used to say there yeah. were no leftovers. Leftovers no was a leftovers. curse word. Yeah, no. Um, 
And like, if there were leftovers in the house, I'd eat them all. Um, I was huge. I was pushing maybe uh, when I was like fifteen. Oh, well, that's why. Um, I uh, I started losing a bunch of weight after I moved out of my parents' house. Like, uh, they just they pack up the the pantry and all this shit, but that's not what we're talking about. No, right. we're here to talk about my oatmeal cravings. Yeah, okay, you, so you, you try you oatmeal, oatmeal for your first time. Do you yeah. do it with raisins? What? Um, What'd you do with like, it? Did you use milk or water? It was just like, it was honey. <laughs> mm, fuck. Bananas. <laughs> mm, fuck. Like regular oatmeal or packaged? Jono! I no, I was 15. I don't remember this stuff. Well, oh, shit. On. We got an all-star so in the like room. Strawberries and cream. No, 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 no. Back up. We got an all-star from the days of fuckery in the room. So, What is up, John O? He wants to report that he's down from 250 pounds now to 183. Dude, good shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Is that guy that did the keto thing? I don't know. He had the double little baby. No, 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 no. This is John O. Uh, I'll explain off the mic who he okay. really is. Let's just say he spent some time behind bars on the road. He's he's a he's a, one of the fucking most epic. He was one of the guys who uh, witnessed the uh, Friday night fuckeries where I coined the phrase. That's great. I have a goldfish. He's he's meth is a hell of a drug. Yes. Where's Mimi? And uh, yes, he's uh, keto. All good. Just working out and riding or just working and riding. Yeah. Fuck being essential. Yeah. Hashtag that now. We're tired of it. We need a break. <laughs> <laughs> Meth is a hell of a thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, honestly, I don't have to go out, but like, I just I want a fucking break. I've only been working at this job a month, but I need a vacation. Motherfucker, try being a boss in logistics. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody oh, will hire me oh, over in Iowa. I guarantee, I'd fuck if you know operations. I'll fucking be like, I need a partner. This is the guy. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> oh, Not on third. Yeah, you got you got. We got J Mac in the room. We got T A Johnny in the room. We got John O. The fuckery is just coming back. There was a, a crossover bullshit thing that we had going on, and uh, Pope Eddie from uh, Resurrection Vapors. Nope. Pope's E-Juice or something like that. God damn it, I am drawing a blank. I love Chris Myers, and he's going to kill me. Uh, vaping family values. We used to do a Friday night fuckery in a Zoom room and shit like that, and it was just nuts all the fucking time. And and oh, that guy they fall asleep, and then everybody was picking on him. <laughs> <laughs> We're not supposed to bring that up. <laughs> but it was like three in the morning. We're not supposed to bring that episode of that up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that happened. We 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 got a. There was lots of alcohol involved. No, there was a lot of sleep deprivation involved. He had two beers. God damn, this but sounds I'll, like fun to me. Oh, it, it, I I wish uh, uh, if you look in our back catalog mm-hmm. and just uh, just Google Friday Night Fuckery in the search engine for Spreaker, you'll find it. <laughs> there, half of the shows were recorded. The back half was just for us. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I've been craving an all nighter. Just fucking a so- binger. Just yeah, just like sitting up all night shooting the shit. If you don't want to get fucking COVID nineteen, put a motorcycle helmet on and ride. <laughs> <laughs> that shit will not fucking stick on. <laughs> what were we talking about before I got excited for seeing the some oatmeal. of the, o- so the oatmeal? The oatmeal, yes, oatmeal raisin. You, you had honey. I'm sure that I ate too much, and uh, you were a big boy eating big boy food. Long story short, I overtrusted a fart, and it was it was a shart. <laughs> I do oatmealed you, in my trousers. But do you like oatmeal now? I mean, do you still eat it? I can't eat it too often. So I can... Only when I'm backed up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I mean, like I said, I have milk and magnesia and Epsom salts to keep me cold at night. Me. Cold. Because <laughs> you got the co- fucking hey, shakes. I want Sean to be here because uh, I want to know. If, problems I want to know for no, no. I want to know Sean's pooping. colonoscopy story. If you got the cold shakes, what? Only if I eat too much Popeyes. You get bound up on greasy Popeyes. Oh yeah, really? I I go on the spicy chicken tenders, man. And there, no, the spicy chicken tenders run right the fuck. Th- uh, here comes the old folks talk or the Jewish folk talk. <laughs> we talk about about our morning constitutions and what makes us go. Welcome Greasy to the shit food show. Makes you poop. Well, you know, when you eat too many of those uh, French Bagels. fries, <laughs> French fries and mashed potatoes blocks you up. 
All that gravy doesn't the gravy doesn't lube it up enough. I was gonna say unless it's McDonald's fucking French fries because that shit does not digest. Ooh, <laughs> that Ooh, shit does not. Fast food now. Uh, Wendy's. Let's go. I'm an inner fat if, kid. If it was if it was still open right now, I'd say let's go to Wendy's. They close that's at eleven. Nine. Well, yeah, there is no let's go anywhere. Yeah, there is no let's go anywhere. We are in the fucking that quarantine shut everything down at nine. It's we're back to the eighties time period, folks, where the lights came on in the street, you were home. Um, I think uh, <laughs> um, the last time I was in a Popeye's drive thru I took Mandy, and this was like, I've, I've told her oh, about... Oh, shush. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the la- uh, I've told her like since the beginning of our relationship that my favorite fast food restaurant is Popeye's. I live and breathe Popeye's. I, I live and breathe Popeye's and The Witcher. When it comes I to fried coin to that Louisiana fast, I was gonna say I, I'm I'm not real keen on uh, Popeyes because I had my first experience was a bad one with it. The chicken do you want to unpack better? This? Yeah, I, I can unpack this. Yeah, if um, I could come, keep the chicken from Popeyes, right, and take the sides from KFC, that would be the best combination. I'm not. Much, I don't know. I'm KFC's I'm not, coleslaw. Too much of a fast food sides guy. I'm like I'm simple when it comes to fast food. French fries and coleslaw. I'm I'm a debutante when it comes to French fries, man. All right. I'm a debutante. I hate McDonald's French fries. You I do lo- not. I love Wendy's French fries. Those are fucking good. And when it goes like this for me with French fries, Burger King, Sonic, gross. Burger no, Kings are greasy. This is, I'm going top five. I'm going number five is Burger King. Number four is Sonic's. Number uh, three is Denny's or uh, or Steak and Shake because they make the steak sh- steak fries or In and Out. Uh, in and Out is number okay, two. In and Out is number two, yeah. and number one is Wendy's. Okay, um, has good ones. Okay, Man, Wendy. Popeyes, okay, Popeyes. Culver's Culver's and In and Out is a, is a tie. So because yeah, I forgot about Cul- there, Well, I don't know. Uh, okay, now we're getting to the, the fat the chat. Curly, <laughs> and the curly fries from Arby's. Those are good, too. Yeah, hashtag fat chat. Really yeah, yeah, hashtag food right fat the chat. curly fries from Arby's. <laughs> we got, okay, uh, John O, John O, John O, if you're Arby's. still listening, I know you fucking drop more than fucking 50 pounds. We're talking about food now. <laughs> the common fat people thing. We talk about weight loss, and then we talk about our favorite foods. <laughs> Like this is this is what happens when I uh, when I miss. Oh, Hardy's curly food. fries though. Hardy's I forgot about fries. Hardy's curly. Oh, Wendy's. Curly. What, uh, Arby's, Arby's, curly Arby's, fries. Arby's curvy Arby's fries. And Hardy's. They're on the they're on the same level. One does roast beef. Fries. One does ten dollar hamburgers. But yeah, no, I do primarily. <laughs> Carl's lean, Jr. I primarily lean towards Carl's Jr. slash Hardy's because yeah. burger. I'm burger. not a fan of. Uh, it's just a fucking sandwich when you go to Arby's. <laughs> it's just a fucking. But sandwich. they have the meats. They had the euros. The I tried the turkey euros. Those are good. Okay. Turkey euro. A euro is fucking lamb's meat. No, well, whatever. It's the same toppings as in, euro, but it's with turkey, and it was fucking good. Live in the Mediterranean for a year. I mean, you I learned to the, love lamb's meat. <laughs> I imagine that uh, the turkey euros wouldn't give me the shits. Like a, <laughs> okay, like a regular. Jono has a Jono made a great fucking point. Does anyone anyone here have White Castle dozen rectum rockets? Oh my god. Uh, so this summer, uh, around the time when like I was just getting to know RLP, Robert Luigi Paul, yes. uh, we had our little comedy crew going from uh, uh, open mic to open mic. We'd hit up like three or four open mics a week, and there was one night we went up to Kenosha, and uh, I didn't know that Kenosha had a White Castle. I'm going to Kenosha. Fuck you. Ooh, we're going to Kenosha. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. We're going to Kenosha. Get up in that. Bro trip. <laughs> <laughs> fat boy trip. Okay, fat kid trip. Yeah. <laughs> I was Can't be not sexist. A fat kid. I was. I was. I I'm, had titties. Well, I'm getting back to my fat kid status. I am too. Then now that the gym's closed, I've Ayo. always had fat titties. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. After after that, Mike, we uh, went to White Castle and we got like sixty sixty sliders. Oh my god! god. Them, How many people them. were there in the group? Uh, there were five of us, but okay, only five four. divided by sixty. I, I can do the math. Four of us participated. Okay, five to, four divided by sixty. Wow, mm-hmm. that's a lot of sliders. Oh boy, that's a cololonoscopy. I made memes <laughs> about uh, <laughs> like about the the diarrhea that Brandon Cassidy had after uh, uh, eating the leftover sliders. Oh no, yeah, leftover. Just, oh yeah, he saved them. I fucking I ate them. You eat them hot. Right. That was fifteen a piece. Okay, the fat boy in me says bet. 
<laughs> I ate about ten, and uh, Richard and I got into uh, an argument about how many of them I I actually ate. Um, <laughs> well, because I told him fifteen, no fourteen, no twelve. <laughs> ironically enough, like you'd assume that uh, in the in the argument, like the fat kid would be like, "Well, actually, I had about seven. Oh, you got a well actually on that. Nice. Well, <laughs> well, no, like you'd you'd imagine that the fat kid in the argument was like just trying to get more leftovers out of it, but Richard was trying to offload some of the ones that he didn't eat onto me so i was like all right i, I mean i guess i'll take those leftovers did you actually eat 10 yeah That's... look at me you're i'm a big doing... boy i don't i'm a growing boy I don't... whatever you're yeah we, uh... yeah you're six eat. fucking five and haven't grown an inch since fucking the age of 15 yeah. <laughs> okay outward <laughs> <laughs> you're growing outward yeah um and we're not talking because a hot chick bent over <laughs> We're talking because you got a stiffy for fucking White Castle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, my okay. You know what? I'm gonna fucking I'm I'm gonna try and figure out how to. Uh, oh God, Johnny, you bring it up. You bring it up. We're gonna have the the fucking uh, colonoscopy challenge here on Bad Habits Network. Oh, not in my house. Uh, well, we're gonna have to figure out where because there's gonna have to be an industrial toilet seat somewhere. Uh, diarrhea, question mark, eat more than five sugar-free gummy bears lately? <laughs> I think we can just, like, I mean, we have a lot of time on our hands. I don't know if any of us has, like, any uh, Oh, my God, there's going to be, skills. I was going to say, diuretic fucking are going to happen. Well, I'm just thinking, like, double-barrel toilet. Two of them oh, right next John to o. each other going down to the same. Okay, I got to have John O on. John O, uh, you're going to have open invite to one of these shows in the future because you and I have to share truck stories. <laughs> okay, guys, in the live chat, I apologize, Dalton. No worries, man. Years back, I, uh, John O. drove a truck, Texas to New Jersey after Louisiana. We would find a White Castle one hour after eating. Our truck windows down, AC blowing full, and the smell. Oh, my God, the <laughs> smell. <laughs> oh God. Johnny's offering his fucking uh, b- place of business. He has two commercial fucking bathrooms. He's oh, cleaning I mean, it. <laughs> I'm not letting you make Amber clean it. You clean it. I mean, yeah, you gotta well, you gotta disinfect it first. I'm not absorbing yeah, COVID. We're not we're yeah. not gonna get COVID of the asshole. Yeah. No, I will wear a disposable mask over my butthole. <laughs> you gotta have something to catch something. Hey, I don't wanna see that. I have to see that. Well, we talked about it uh, on a previous episode about my farts being so bad I needed charcoal underwear. <laughs> Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> I mean, you're talking to the guy who cleared out a truck stop. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about. I White think Castle. we were talking about like White Castle and then the 15 versus 10. Yeah, so you, you had, had 10. 10 slide. Richard talking, was yelling at you. I'm talking before White Castle. I don't even care. I don't even the think oatmeal. any oatmeal. That's the only thing I can come oatmeal. up with. Oatmeal and honey. You I mean, had a. You don't really eat oatmeal too much. And then we talked about fries. I love Popeyes. Popeyes because they season their fries. Okay, you would like, like TGI Fridays. They have really good fries. They do the salt and pepper. Well, and then there's then there's a um, Texas Roadhouse. Oh, I mean, they got some good steak fries. And I don't like how there's only two of seven restaurants named after a day. There's Ruby Tuesdays. Oh, okay. And TGI Fridays. Well, I'm still working on our own little restaurant. If Michael and I go into business with each other, it's going to be called So Happy It's Thursdays. Oh man, talking about that, the acronym um, alone will just be great. I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> South Harmon Institute of Technology. Yes, sir. S H I T. Man, thinking about that, that makes me go back to like my Xbox Live friends. Uh, I had this. I my friend and I had this idea for a, a donut shop called a blockish donut shop we'd make donuts in the shape of cubes yep <laughs> fuck yeah Yum. the donut block yeah <laughs> for, like a Rubik's cube one. for truckers that would be called an intersection the do not block <laughs> like hurts donuts oh my god oh i fucking I hated still... that growing up i still play the circle game people at work know did you ever play safety yes Oh, dude, I was horrible. I, I, because I, I do it so much, I'd mm-hmm. have to keep a doorknob in my pocket. Yeah, you told me about that. Yes, I had to fucking keep a doorknob in my pocket because I was that guy. I should have fucking <laughs> done that. <laughs> but like, I, it, it, it was when I was a little kid, and my older brothers were assholes. So like, I, I couldn't buy a doorknob. I'd have to learn how to. Well, I, I ganked one. 
<laughs> the, the way I, because, you know, I was. Sure, your dad had extras in the garage. Nope. Nope. Doorknobs were not akimbo to what he had. Uh, <laughs> uh, what happened, how, how I acquired the doorknob was actually more entertaining than anything. I stole it from a church. <laughs> you heathen. Get away! <laughs> While you're there, can you get me another one, please? Oh, absolutely. Thank you, my friend. Holy shit, I still got South Kakalaki moonshine in here. Jesus. Two jars. No, thank you. <laughs> and that is going to stay there. <laughs> know your place, trash! I have to work tomorrow. I was going to say, I got to get. I gotta fucking do homeschool tomorrow. Oh. And the dryer guys come. And the dryer, yeah. It's just been a perfect storm today in the in the in the Hammer household. The dryer died. The heating element in the dryer died, so we had to fucking uh, call for an appliance guy, and then I got to help with the homeschooling and shit like that. And mm-hmm. welcome to real life. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> <laughs> this new math bullshit versus the old math bullshit's really gonna take over. We don't and have, I'm still learning math. We don't math. have a fifth grader, though. No, we don't. And we're not smarter than them. <laughs> the nine-year-old is telling, teaching us how to fucking use the tablet for the fucking kid <laughs> in kindergarten. She's teaching him more than we are him. <laughs> I will admit, though, it was nice. Okay, reasons why the studio was hot when you showed up. Mm-hmm. Somebody decided that she wanted to read aloud and asked if I could record it. And she wants to send it to a very young itty bitty that is uh, pre- privy to the network now. Okay, it's Johnny's youngest. All right. Aww. Sorry, Johnny, I ruined the surprise. That's precious. Yeah, Amriel was record. So Amri, yes, li- yes, yes. Uh, Amriel mm-hmm. wanted to record her reading a book out loud uh, and wants to gift the book to Lil oh, and have it recorded just you know for that in case she doesn't get a chance to read to her anytime soon because yeah that one's gonna be i'm Maybe gonna be a, withdrawal yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be a grandfather before fucking she's 20 <laughs> <laughs> i guarantee it i guarantee it not in the good way either folks she's not gonna be wearing a basketball jersey in the middle of halftime so <laughs> she probably already knows johnny <laughs> oh god <sighs> Just saying, <laughs> you live the lifestyle, you better reap the rewards. <laughs> uh. So I digress. We're we're all we're all playing uh, all all the uh, parents now, and and you're probably going to be looped into it soon too. We're going to be playing. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah, the I mean, home edition. I'm trying to play. Are you smart enough to be a college student right now? I gave up on that. <laughs> I, so did I. But I gave up on that. The moment I figured out what was going on, I gave up on that. I, I picked the wrong school. <laughs> Fucking, I gave up too. But here I am again. I was gonna say I'm just an entrepreneur trying to make my way. Half of the shit I learned, uh, you can't teach in in school. Mm-hmm. Like you know how to shoot something from 50 meters away and then make sure it nails the target 50 hundred meters away <laughs> on the ricochet. <laughs> Okay, fat food, which is fat shack sandwich. Oh, a place called Fat Shack. Okay. Oh, we're gonna okay, we got a destination. Sandwich and burgers, check this shit out. Sandwich, fat cow, it's mac and cheese, bacon, french fries, mozzarella sticks, and buffalo ranch. <gasps> down. I'm down. Oh, oh, oh are road they trip. Essential? Are, are, they essential? are the essential are they employees? Open? Are they open? <laughs> I will fucking get a motherfucking bus. <laughs> Man, I will dose up on antibiotics before I go in there. Oh, which I, you probably I, should, even without a virus. I was going to say, I'll get my anthrax shot series five. <laughs> antibiotics don't kill viruses. Uh, they kill so bacteria. Just how much I know about well, it, They kill bacteria. Yeah, antibiotics, bio, bacteria, viral, virus. Yes, thank you. You mean f- antiviral? Sure. Well, let's just protect. I'll take you along to. Show me the correct things to take. Let's just pretend we're going to join uh, Adam on his next trip to South Africa for the yeah. bees. <laughs> Get all our malaria shots and COVID. <laughs> Did you know that if you have... Malaria? No. AIDS? Sickle cell anemia, you cannot catch malaria. This is a true statement. That's actually... So like I but just evolution, to... evolution is not real. So I'm just saying. So like I just have to throw up every time after I eat. I get it. 
It's not evolution. Oh, so when, we're, we're reliving our 20s? <laughs> I, have single cell I have to be pretty. single-cell... I have to be pretty. She said single-cell anemia? Sickle, sickle cell. cell. Sickle, sickle cell. cell. All we, right, you're just making up words. No, no. no uh, sickle cell sickle. anemia is... Uh, when the blood cells are concave and they're not round how they should be. I'm a convex. Very. <laughs> right here. I'm My tummy convex. is very convex. <laughs> Same. Uh, no, we. this was actually a legit thing. Uh, I knew about sickle cell amenia, amenia, anemia before the military uh, only because it was on the questionnaire. Huh. They were asked, do you have it? And I'm like, no. African-American individuals normally do have it. Well, uh, the, both parents have to have the recessive gene. Well, it's a recessive gene. However, it... In some people's theories, Darwin. Same. Sorry, uh, Are you with me, Darwin. Uh, some people believe it was a uh, evolutionary tactic for like mosquitoes, malaria. Because how do you get malaria? Mosquitoes. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't stick to the blood cells and so on and so forth. Yeah. But evolution isn't real. Darwin. Not- Darwin was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just say Darwin's right. Get the comet. He's retarded. <laughs> Whatever. Says you, but okay. He was a doctorate. <laughs> Doesn't make them right. No, and and we can go the, theology sometime. Uh, you know, I believe everyone's right and everyone's wrong. Just my thought process. I don't talk about religion. Like, I don't. Well, th- that's what shots from the balcony is. You can talk about religion, mm-hmm. politics, money without impunity. It's it's all the things you can't What's talk. This about. one. Uh, sh- this one's just bad habits. Oh, okay. This is just a basic bitch. All right. Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. But open for him at any given moment. I mean, we've had we've had blown pistons take over fucking shots from the balcony. We've had bitter bitches take over blown pistons. We've had all of the previous shows. We've you know bitter bitches tried taking over everything. That didn't happen. <laughs> and uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like this bitch is bitter. <laughs> <laughs> we've had we've had like uh, even even other podcasts have come onto this show and took it taken it over like us. Uh, over a cigar. Uh, okay. YouTube that shit, folks, because that shit's good. I need, I need some friends who are into the witch. Shots from the gallery is like barbershop goes anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. We've had uh, midnight midnight shots. Michael has taken over shots from the balcony. Okay. Balcony Ew. has taken over midnight sushi. Ew. Stuff like that. Blown piss. We've also had a whole fucking collaboration where... It was uh, Project Sin, Cody's show, Mm -hmm. took over Midnight Sushi, which actually took over Shots from the Balcony, which accidentally took over Blown Pistons. We we had shots of Blown Sin Sushi. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) And then we've had uh, Midnight Sushi took over uh, Davia's old show. Uh, Still trying to... With all that's going on with Dr. Davia, folks, we're still trying to... uh, do some things. It's just we've all been incommunicado with everything going on. So more to come, more to come. And Doctor Davia, fucking mad shout out to you because damn, if you got fucking, you're a doctor and you got a fucking uh, compromised immune system. Here to you, Chica. Salud. As I drink. <laughs> so yeah, and also uh, we're we're working we're working on a couple ideas with Zoom rooms because uh, the fuckery was doing Zoom rooms before Zoom room was cool. Okay. So in case we can't make these things or mm-hmm. I need a special guest or that, that can't make it to the studio with all this, uh, or we have 10, uh, allegedly 10 more people, 10, more than 10 people in the studio, yeah. it'll be interesting. <laughs> Hence the reason we're looking for more sponsors and, and yeah. donate to Patreon, folks. Patreon.com slash Bad Habits Network. Toss gotta, a coin to your Witcher. Yes, toss a coin to your hammer <laughs> <laughs> or, or, your, or your bad habit of choice. How about booby slaps? No, no, we can't. We cannot actually solicit sexual favors for money over the internet. I, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot willingly <laughs> and in good thought process say, "Hey, pay us a dollar. My wife will bitch tit slap you in the you face." Know how rich, we would be. Whatever you want to do <laughs> to promote your brand, Rose. Yeah. <laughs> well, Gold Canyon Canyon just fucking went bankrupt, so fuck it. Why not? <laughs> 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 yeah, and they did that one under the radar too, folks. This COVID shit went out, and it's like, wait, Gold Canyon died. What's Gold Canyon? <laughs> it's a candle company. It was oh. 23 years. Twenty three years. They went bankrupt. A candle company. Okay. 
that would it was basically Yankee Candles rival and all it's that. It's like the best. They were it's better like, than They Yankee. were quote unquote the best. Is there a story behind why they went bankrupt, or was it just we don't like know. out with a whisper? Well, they out had with a lots, whisper because they had a lot we, the, of CEOs e- go through, and it was like they. I don't. I a lot around. of Swiss bank accounts offshore. Oh, so you <laughs> yeah. could say that it was blown out like a candle. I knew where you were going with it. <laughs> I was just trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> It went out like a whisper, like a blown out candle. <laughs> you guys are weird. Oh, shush. You fucking love this shit. I need to shit. go to bed. Yes, you do. So and we need to fucking wrap it up here. So, guys, if you do like what you're listening, click the share icon in the Spreaker app. Share this shit to your social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I don't give a shit. Follow us on the socials. Just look up Bad Habits Network, Gary the Hammer, uh, attention for detail. Uh, Turtle Donut Comedy. Betty White Wellness Watch. I think is still a thing. Um. Yeah. Let me just let me just check on the old. Yeah, another girl. another another show within a show within a show. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe uh, maybe. Let me see. Let's. Yeah, I got a beginning middle. Welcome one. to Betty White Wellness Watch, the show within a show where we take a break from all the goofs and laughs and check in on the well-being of America's golden girl. While Gary adjusts the mic levels. Ooh, that sounds cool. She's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was neat. You need to do that a fact more often. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cheesy and chintzy. Oh my god! I... <laughs> wait, can we? Wait, what other what other, what other like, effects do we have? I'll I'll, I'll do I'll another Betty White for it. <laughs> god damn it, Henry! I'm on it. Come on, Henry. The people are waiting. God, hurry your stupid ass off. Man, this room really needs to be soundproof. God, we need some, like, wood wow. panels. And- wow. <laughs> <laughs> the-, the acoustics in here are great. <laughs> Limit. Limit. It's like we're talking inside of Mandy's butthole. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to play with the board wow. a little bit more. You guys. Oh. Okay, thanks, Joe Bullet, for sharing this one because a lot more people just talked about it. Oh, my. Wow. Well, and on that note, um, do we have any more fucks to give? I don't know. You be the judge. I've no more fucks to give. My fucks have run up dry. I've tried to go fuck shopping, but there's no fucks left to buy. I've no more fucks to give, no more fucks I've tried to get. I'm over my fuck budget and I'm now in fucking debt. 